Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door. And I have more journals to add to the booth for Miss Diane Goolsby. Um, she also has other journals in the booth, so check them out. But look, she sent me this wonderful trim. Is that not beautiful? I love, love, love this kind of trim. And oh my goodness, Diane, you were so generous. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. This is absolutely gorgeous, and I cannot wait to play with it. So, thank you. Okay, let's dive into these wonderful journals. Okay, she sent me four journals, and it looks like they're hardcover journals. Look at how pretty. Oh, my goodness. Look at the sweet little dangles that she's put on the spine. Hopefully, y'all can see those. And then she's put a little charm here on a bull pen. Um, the cover is a hardcover journal with fabric covering. It's got the beautiful um, filigree book corners. She's made this gorgeous pocket with fabrics and laces. Um, and then in the top, you have a pocket here. Oh, how cute is that? It says, this journal belongs to. How adorable. And I love the way she did her stitching around um, the edge of the, um, the embellishments on the front cover. And then she has, um, of course, there's this little dangle here. How stinking cute. She has loaded this little journal up with dangles. I, I love it. I love the dangles. And then even on the back of the journal, she's added the... Um, the fabric and the beautiful book corners so let's take a peek inside and see what we have okay and then you have to, um, like a hitch post fastener for the closure let's check out our information okay this journal is called my garden fence so the one um, with the larger pink flowers is called my garden fence it's nine and a quarter by eight and a half it has two signatures with 120 pages um, let me see Okay, she's got fussy cutouts from a 1982 wallpaper, prints of her watercolors, some of her digital designs, and her signature Lucky Penny um, corner protectors, writing board. So I'm going to leave all of this information in the journal for whoever gets it. What a wonderful, wonderful journal. Look how cute this is. Okay, in the front pocket here, um, you have a beautiful eyelet lace pocket and then she's put this wonderful embellishment on there and then you take this out oops we've got our there we go look at the the garden gate i love that and it's 3d so it's you know um and then it has the bling there and then you have a little button card and a tag that says my story begins here so stinking cute and then here she has this wonderful tag with her information on it this is one of her watercolors and how gorgeous is that didn't she do a wonderful job oh i'm so jelly i wish that i could do i wish i was an artist like that um, and then in this pocket you have um, a tag a couple of tags and a little journal in space i love um, this little shrunk down um, crossword puzzle or not crossword word find puzzle super cute uh oh okay this is a double pocket here so um then you have the children's writing paper with stenciling i'm not sure if that's stenciling or stamping i think it's stenciling and then she's got the cutouts and it's cut the colors i love the papers that she's used in here beautiful blue lines paper i love how she's done this with the little punch outs and then you have a belly band here. And inside the belly band, you have like a little booklet. How stinking cute is that? She's made a little booklet out of an envelope. And then inside the picture window, she's put that gorgeous little flower. How stinking cute. I love that. She has the page tab there. And then here you have, okay, I believe this is a belly band. And it's got a little fold-out booklet for extra journaling. I'm not going to take it out because y'all know I will struggle with it. She has dangles on the, um, I mean, look at all the laces that she's added to the edges of the pages. And on some of them, she has um, the sweet little dangles. And this looks like, oh, it's um, like tracing paper, but it might be deli paper. And then she's got a double pocket here. Cute little belly band here with a little envelope. 
it's like a little pocket. How stinking cute is that? So you have a couple of tags in that top pocket and then one in the bottom pocket. Lines pages that she's done the punch outs on. And then a pocket here and it has goodies in it. Looks like a playing card. Um, it's a little bit hard to tug so I'm not gonna take, take it out. Um, you'll have to get the journal to see because it's super cute. It's got the little butterfly and it looks like a little garden gate. So you have the doily there with the flower on it. I love all these different lined papers that she's used in here. You have an envelope here and you've got goodies tucked in the pocket and then a goodie tucked in behind the pocket as well. There's the center of your signature. You have the little um, butterfly button dangle there. This is a pocket, I believe. Okay, this is one of those fold-out pockets. I am not even going to attempt to pull that apart because y'all know I'll fumble with it. <laughs> so, I'm just going to leave it like that and you guys can do that when you get it. little pocket here. This is a little booklet for extra journaling and a little tag. I love how she's got that fabric at the top. Lined papers. I love these lined pages. And I love how she's colored on them and stenciled on them. You have a pocket here with a tag. And a cute little joke. That's adorable. Tracing paper. Pocket here. You have a vintage Rolodex card and a tag in this pocket. And I am going a little fast. Simply big. Oh, she's made you a bookmark. How pretty. I love having the bookmarks in there. Um, because I have four journals, so I want to make sure we get to see everything on all of them. So this is an envelope flap, and she's tucked in a little altered playing card there, and a tag for you there. My journal keeps turning on me. And then again, on this side, you have one of those little booklets, and she's made a tag for that side as well. This one looks like it opens up. I'm not going to open it, because I will never get it back in there the way she's got it. <laughs> This is one of those little folding pockets, but again, y'all know I'll fight with it. So I'll leave that to you. Cute little envelope there in the center. Okay, this is the center of the journal, and here's the writing board. So you have it with the pretty colors and the altered um, or the decorated, uh, what do they call these? Binder clips? Yep. <laughs> Cute little garden scene there on the front of the second signature. You have a pocket here with a little... Um, vintage book page and a tag. Again, I love this lined paper and I love the way it feels. It's got a great texture to it. Okay, and here's another double pocket and you have a tag there with this cute little dangle and banner. Okay, I'm not going to pull these out, but you have a tag in both sides. Because <laughs> I was already struggling, so... I knew that I knew better than to do that. Okay, so this is um, paper clipped on. Okay, I'm going to attempt this. Y'all have to bear with me. Okay, so it flips out this way. Oh, cute. And it flips out this way. You have a little pocket there. And then it flips out again. Oh, wow. So stinking cute. So it flips out three times. I love the little garden scene that she has there. Okay, well, that wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be for me. <laughs> You know, because I'm so talented and graceful. <laughs> okay, you have a pocket here with a little tag. And the tag is an actual pocket with another tag in it. And then a folding journal piece there. A little bag here with goodies in there for you. Again, I love all the garden scenes that she's put in here. Okay, this is an envelope pocket. I'm not going to take it off, but it's a couple of pockets. And it's wrapped over, so it's a couple pockets on this side. And then she has goodies tucked in underneath for you. Oh, super cute. It's a, um, it's like the garden gate, and she's put it all together. But as you flip the pages, it shows a different part of the gate. That's adorable. <coughs> Excuse me. There's the center of your second signature. And again, another one of those gate fold. That's so cute. Okay, you have um, a belly band here. And she has a couple of tags in the belly. Oh, that's an index card in the belly band. So 
See, this is why I don't take things out because I always struggle with them. <laughs> oh, and I love the way she's used a puzzle piece um, on a safety pin on the edge of this lace. And then you have another one of those little booklets that folds out and it's a triple fold. And then here is um, the other side of that sack and she's made a little pocket out of the bottom portion of the sack. Super cute. Pocket here and you have a tag and a little book page. Altered paper clip. You have an envelope here with journaling goodies in there and then it's a pocket in behind as well. Cute little double belly band here. You have a tag there and a large size journaling card and tag underneath the belly band. And then you have a double pocket here with a tag in each pocket and you can pretty much see the tags. And then you have the cute little altered playing card, little mini. And then in the back, she has the little um, pin holder for you and then you have a pocket and she's tucked in lots of goodies for you and you have her business card so that you can contact her directly but how cute is that little shaker card I love that and then you have um, the altered playing card super cute little pockets so this one is called let me just double check my garden fence I'm gonna leave that in there for whoever gets the journal so um, let me grab the next one okay and I think it's fairly similar very very pretty okay so you again have the pocket I'm not going to pull the tag out this time because I'll struggle with it <laughs> but the beautiful pocket that she's done the watercolor on and then again the book corners this one's very similar to the last one so I'm going to show you the the details fairly quickly I love all of the beads she even has a paper bead on there and then again the back of the journal so let's take a peek inside and get our information okay this one's called along my garden fence it's nine and a quarter by eight and a quarter um, 132 pages with two signatures okay um, again all of her journals have her lucky penny um, in somewhere in the journal I have yet to find one but I forget to look for them so similar pocket here in the front we're gonna flip quickly on that you get one of her beautiful watercolors and we're gonna flip quickly through this one so that we can get to the next two and the video won't be super super long hopefully so um, this one has all of the same features as the other one um, very very similar it's just you know different color papers and um, embellishments and things like that but as far as you know all the pockets and the tags and things and the belly bands and tucks they're all very very similar so we're just going to I'm not gonna oh that's pretty center I love that um, I'm not gonna take stuff out of the pockets of this one because I did that on the last one you have your book mark there I love this paper I love how she's done um, the watercolor on the lines on the paper I believe that's watercolor that one with the tags super cute little garden gate there and I'm probably since these two are so similar I'm gonna put them in the same listing so you'll have a choice to choose between the two um, so just remember the name of the one that you love there's your writing board and you'll be able to find it in that same listing together love that yellow okay and you have your little sack there with the goodies in it these are super super cute little journals I love how she's done the stamping on that tracing paper very pretty I love all the little garden fences that she's used in here there's your fold over envelope pocket there's your puzzle piece little dangle let's see here we go how pretty is that center signature okay you have little goodies in here and this one has the little recipe card the little vintage recipe card your belly band with your goodies in there your envelope pocket and then there's a oh how cute is that this one's a little bit different from the other book 
but it's the same concept. So you have the little envelope fold over um, that has the little picture windows in there. How adorable is that? This is why I don't take everything out because I don't know why I struggle with it so hard, but I do. I don't know if I'm just not coordinated enough or <laughs> I'm very clumsy in life anyway. So, you know, that could be the problem. <laughs> I'm just a big dork. <laughs> Okay, there's your little gatefold. So cute. Super, super cute. I love her billy band. She's done the stitching with the, um, like the scrap pieces of paper and made a billy band out of it. Okay, that's a pocket there. And then, of course, again, in the back pocket, you have the um, altered card, the little shaker card, and her business card. And then you have the little pin um, holder as well. So this one is called Along My Garden Fence. Okay, so hang on and let me grab the next two. Okay, so y'all know the next ones I'm going to be in love with. Oh my goodness, it's roosters or chickens, hens, and roosters. How stinking adorable. It's a hardcover journal that's fabric covered. She's got the pretty little, oops, I should have pulled this forward. Uh oh, we're a little tangled. That's okay. There we go. Okay, it's tangled up in the hang on, sorry. Okay, got it. <laughs> so I have the pretty little dangle here at the top. And then I have the dangles on the spine where she's tied the signatures together. And it also has buttons. And I love, love, love the fabric. Okay, I'm not gonna take this off because she's got it wrapped, wrapped for shipping. Um, but it's a little dangle and it has those little glass, I don't know if you can tell, the little glass jars that has goodies in it. Okay, but look at that fabric. Is that gorgeous or what? Love that. And then, of course, you have the eyelet closure here. Let me just untie it and let's take a peek inside. I love this so much. Uh oh, oh, okay. It pulls through. There we go. Okay, so here you have the little um, this journal belongs to tag here. And let's see. This one's called Old McDonald's Chickens. Okay. So, um, that's how you'll find the one that, this first one, it's called Old McDonald's Chickens. It's nine and a half by six. It has two signatures, um, and she didn't give me a number of pages on there. Maybe there's a number of pages in the other one, because I think both of these um, are very similar as well. So, let's just check it out. Okay, so you have a beautiful, beautiful chicken here, um, underneath the, um, clip. Oh my goodness, can't find my words. Look at all the laces and dangles. How pretty. Excuse me. I had to hiccup. <laughs> okay, and then you have the lined paper, some stenciling, the gorgeous dangle there on that page tab. She's got the little punch outs and a doily. Stamping, and then you have a pocket here with a tag and a little chicken um, flip open tag. And then that's a little booklet for extra journaling. To dream of a rooster foretells that you will be very successful and rise to prominence, but you will allow yourself to become conceited over your fortunate rise. To see roosters fighting foretells altercations and rivals. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Hmm. I like that. You have the little safety pin there with the beads on that pretty lace. She's done lots of stitching. You have a tag here tucked under an altered paper clip. And then on this side, you have three little pockets. And y'all know, I, I'm not going to open them. You'll have to get the journal to see what's inside because I'm sure it's super cute. You have a long pocket here. She's got the lace down at the bottom here. And then you have a long skinny tag inside that pocket. I love the papers that she's used in here. You have a pocket here little buttons there and a couple of tags and pieces for journaling in that pocket little pocket here with a tag and a little piece for extra journaling and then here this is an altered paper clip and she's tucked in a goodie underneath that there's the center of your signature and I love that she's put the little hearts on the string there in the center and then okay the, oh gotcha it's a little secret little fold out, and I think it's a pocket in behind as well. Super cute. 
love the reds that she's used in this journal. Okay, so this one folds down. I'm not going to do it because y'all know I'll struggle. Um, and then you have goodies tucked in the pockets, pocket there. Have a double pocket here with tags in each side. And then an altered paper clip there. And then you can tuck something underneath there as well. Or if you take the paper clip off, you can fold this completely out for extra journaling. And you have a pocket here with several goodies in there and a long tag. Pocket there with a cute little to-do list. And I love how she's just put little bits and pieces of you know, little embellishments all over every page, it seems like. So you have to get the journal really, really spend some time with it to see all the time she spent. There's your little fabric flip tucked in there. Um, but yeah, you just need to get the journal so you can see all the goodies. You have a writing board in this one as well. Super cute. And then this is the beginning of your second signature. You have a little tuck there. I almost feel like that's a pocket. Is that a pocket? Oh, no, it's two pages. Hello, Diane. <laughs> All right, this slides on to... Oh goodness, I'm afraid to take it off, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna just slide it off a little bit. Oh goodness, it came all the way off. Okay, so then you have this vintage ledger here with a little pocket, and it has that cute little tag. Oh, I might make it. Okay, <laughs> we did good. The struggle is real, y'all, I'm telling you. My clumsiness. <laughs> little dangle there. I love how she does the cute little envelopes just in, random places on the page maybe that's where the lucky penny is we shall see that's the center oh this is the handmade paper the faux paper faux handmade paper um that i did on one of my videos and now of course it wasn't my idea it was treasure books um, but i did one of those too and i love seeing other people's work how stinking cute is that that is so adorable i love that Double pocket there with a couple of tags. And again, this one folds out this way. And then it folds out this way. And I love how she put the buttons on the edges of the page. There's another one of those secret little pockets. Or um, fold outs for extra journaling. And then it's a pocket as well. And then you have... Um, okay, this is an envelope. There's goodies in there, but I'm not taking it off. And then you have... One of those large size, um, is it an index card? Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's like a miniature folder. Cute little mason jar there with the chicken. And then you have a fabric flip there. Oh, I love that. Love that lace. And then underneath this altered paper clip, you have a tag and one of those vintage recipe cards. Cute little banner there and one of those chicken mason jars and then this is a double pocket so you have goodies in the oh it's more than a double pocket so maybe it's a triple pocket let's see so you have one two three okay it's four pockets super cute and then this is the other side of that ledger paper again with a page tab with a dangle on it and you have a little a little booklet here for extra journaling and then a sweet little tag See if I can tuck that in there and keep that lace folded down. Okay, then you have a little double pocket here and long skinny tags in each pocket. Super cute. You have a little pocket here. Actually, it's a double pocket, so there's a tag there. And then in the back pocket, you have a vintage Rolodex card and another little tag as well. And then in this pocket, you have... Um, little booklet and a tag and then a little vintage recipe card super cute and then on the back you have your shaker card and a little tag there and then i love 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 the little chickens and this has her information in there and then you have the pen holder as well so this one is called old mcdonald's chickens and this one and the next one will be in the same listing together um, and that just saves, um, you know, saves time and um, makes it a little easier for me to do the listings. But if there's, 
<clears throat> excuse me, if they're journals that are very, very similar, then um, it helps to do them that way. Okay, so this one has the beautiful little red, um, like organza uh, with ribbon closure. You have the sweet little dangle here, and she's put like wax paper in here to protect the fabric. It's a hardcover journal as well. I love her little dangle, and she also has the book plate here that says journal. You have the little dangles on the spine, and again, she's protected those little jars. Love that large size button that she's used there, and then that is the back of the journal. So let's see what the name of this one is so we can differentiate. Okay, this one's called The Hen Rules the Roost, <laughs> and it's a little bit bigger, I believe, just barely bigger. Um, so it's 10 by 8 and 3 quarters. It has two signatures with 108 pages. Okay, so this, um, the first one probably has around the same amount of pages because, again, these are very similar journals. So we will do a quick flip through of this one as well. Again, you have the sweet little rooster that she has here with her information inside there. And I love the way she's done this page with the little um, uh, cluster on there. And again, lots of laces with dangles on the edges of the pages. Cute little pocket there with some goodies and some tags. A doily. This one folds open. Oh, how stinking cute is that? <laughs> and then, oh, okay, so it ties here. Oh goodness. Let's see if I can tie a bow. Maybe. Okay. It's not beautiful, but it'll do in a pinch. <laughs> Cute little um, mason jar tag there. And then this one. This one looks like one of those fold up open pockets. And I'm totally not going to fight with that because y'all know I will struggle. A little dangle there. I love this ledger paper that she's used. And she's put you a little tag. Oh, this is one of those recipe cards underneath. There's your double pockets with the skinny long tags. Lots of altered paper clips. This is a Rita flip. And then you have a tag underneath here. A couple of tags actually. These are those little envelopes that um, I'm not going to open because y'all know I'll fight with them. <laughs> but there's probably goodies inside so you'll have to get it to see. And then you have a belly band here. Okay, let's go this way with um, a couple of tags and then a little extra journaling piece and one of those mason jar uh, tags with the chicken on it or rooster, whichever way you want to call it. There's the center of that signature. You have the hearts on the string. Dangles on lots of the laces on the edges of the pages and again, lots of sewing in this journal as well. Okay, this I'm not going to take off because she has it glued. So I'm going to let whoever gets it take it off. It looks like it's very interactive. Like um, there's a string down here and a couple of paper clips. So I'm sure it folds out, but it's taped. And so I'll let whoever gets the journal um, figure that one out. Again, here's one of those fold open pockets. And it again ties into a bow here. Or you can do a bow or, you know, just tie it however you want to do it. It's your journal. Sweet little tag there again with the dangles, and then it's got um, a, like a little goodie tucked under a piece of ephemera. <clears throat> you have an envelope pocket here with goodies inside, and then I think it's a pocket here as well. There's a, your long skinny pocket with the long skinny tag and a rooster mason jar. And again, a couple of those envelopes with goodies. Oh, this one has lots of those little envelopes with goodies. There's your, ride, uh, your writing board. And I like the way she stamped it to let you know that's what it's for. There's her stamp. Love that ledger paper. Again, this one is one of those fold opens. going to a tent. Okay. I can't do it. I'm not going to do it on camera because it takes too long. Sorry, guys. <laughs> pocket here with, this is like a multi-pocket, so you have goodies in each pocket. 
There's a Rita flip, altered paper clip, another one of those fold out pockets. Super, super cute. Okay, so this one folds open. It's like a tip in, and then you have this cute little pocket here. There's an envelope with goodies in there and a tag. This is cute. I love it with the flowers. There is your center of the second signature. Again, that faux handmade paper. There's a couple of your other two long skinny pockets with the long skinny tags. Altered paper clip. Oh, and this has goodies underneath the paper clip. And this is a, like a little tip in. There's her secret little envelope. I bet you money her little pennies in there, but I'm not going to open it. I'm going to let y'all find the penny. This is a double pocket, and so you have a tag and one of those vocabulary cards. And then in the back, we have a little envelope, and there's goodies in there. How cute are those little girls? Oh my goodness, in their little pink boots and sunflowers. And there is your belly band with the large size tag and the rooster mason jar. One of those fold open hidden journaling spots. This is a pocket here with a couple of goodies in there. Lots and lots of dangles in this journal as well. And then this is, okay, this one's a fold open and then she's made a little pocket in here. It's also a booklet inside. So very interactive little piece there. And then you have a tag here that's a pocket and she's got a tag inside the tag pocket. Super cute and I love her little shaker cards, those are adorable. And that has information there. And again, you have the pen holder here. So this one is called The Hen Rules the Roost. Okay, so The Hen Rules the Roost and Old McDonald's Chickens. Okay, so that's how you'll find them in the shop. Um, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you will. And thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all have a great day. Big hugs.